open acrylics are distinct from every other acrylic paint available today. They are slow drying acrylics that offer artists some unique capabilities. Beyond their slow drying quality, there are several things about open acrylics that make them different from fast drying acrylics, and that can help you get the most from your experience using them. Open acrylics are best used thinly. We recommend not applying in thicknesses over one millimeter or about the thickness of a dime, as thicker applications can take an excessively long time to dry. To give open acrylics a thinner consistency, we recommend using open thinner. Adding water, as one might with other acrylics, will accelerate drying and weaken paint adhesion. Another difference you'll discover immediately is that open acrylics won't dry in your palette nearly as fast as other acrylics. In fact, by using a covered palette, open acrylics can remain wet and usable for weeks. Because open acrylics dry slower than most acrylics, we recommend using open only over faster drying acrylics until the paint is not only dried to the touch, but cured completely. We'll share more detail on this later in the video. While layering fast drying acrylics in open requires some care, open is fully compatible and may be mixed with other acrylics to manage the drying time and workability. Open acrylics have a unique thinner that can be used similar to solvents and thinners in oil painting for subtractive techniques for decreasing paint viscosity and for rewetting your palette. Open was designed to give painters the workability necessary for traditional techniques such as portraiture and plain air painting. The slow drying quality facilitates blending and wet on wet techniques. In addition to traditional painting, open acrylics provides a solvent-free alternative for printmaking and monoprinting. Like any other acrylic paint, the drying time for open acrylics is influenced significantly by the surface to which it is applied. Here we have a panel prepared to show three levels of absorbency. Highly absorbent on the left, moderately absorbent in the center, and minimally absorbent on the right. As you can see from the time-lapse finger test, the color applied to the most absorbent surface sets up much more quickly than the less absorbent surfaces. For this reason, artists should consider their choice of painting surfaces when using open acrylics. When squeezed out in thick dabs of color, open can remain wet for hours or even days. Using a palette with a tightly sealed lid, the colors can remain wet for weeks. It can save color mixtures and reduce waste. This also makes open a very economical choice for artists and students. Another unique quality of open acrylics is its long cure time. That is the time after it is dried to the touch but before it is completely solidified or cured. It is during this period that one may use the thinner to remove paint layers for subtractive techniques only possible with open acrylic paints. While curing, the surface of the paint may be dry, but the bond to the underlying support is still forming. This means that applications of regular acrylics or varnish on top of open acrylics should occur after open acrylics have cured, usually one to three weeks after the paint is dry to the touch. Artists who typically use fast drying acrylics may also find it useful to have a few open colors on their palette to slow drying when necessary. Also, the open acrylic mediums are excellent for glazes when used in combination with fast drying acrylic colors. While open acrylics are different from fast drying acrylics, they can still be cleaned up with soap and water and you can use the same brushes you would use with any other acrylic. Whether open is the first acrylic you try or in addition to your acrylic palette, the slow drying qualities of open will change the way you see acrylic painting forever. For more information about open acrylics, visit goldenpaints.com open, or feel free to contact our technical support team. Thank you for watching.